Hello again everybody, SciFiGuy86 here in my Let's Play series. In the last episode we had worked on the storage room up there. Uh, in this episode I'm going to be working on trying to get us a enchantment table as well as a nether portal. So we're going to need to start off with the obsidian generator. Now an obsidian generator has been built many times before by other people. These are really easy to build. Um, first thing you need to do is place a, a hole that is three long. This is a compact one. You can do five long if you want, but I do three long because it's, it's a little faster. It's not as monoton monotonous to dig out the obsidian. <coughs> so you need a three long like that, a space, and then you need a three long pillar above it. On the opposite side, nothing. Okay, you need two tall space there. On this side, you need two tall space, and then you put the wall on this side. Okay, I usually leave the corner open so that I can get up there. Okay, and then from this point, what you need to do is place your water on one side. Oops not there. Right there. So that it hits all of these spots. And if you look over here, it is now has one face, one plane of its its uh, of the water is touching this block. Which means if I put lava here, it will go into the redstone, which actually hold on, let me put the redstone dust first. You put the redstone dust if I can grab it. Redstone dust underneath. And when the lava starts to replace the redstone dust it touches the water and it instantly creates an obsidian block. Because anytime a lava source block and a water source block touch, actually I think it's l lava source block and water touch. It doesn't have to be a water source block. You create lava or you create obsidian. Okay, so we can even watch the first one create. It will spread. You can hear it and then you grab the lava. Simple as that. And then from there, what you do is you take your diamond pickaxe, drop into the hole and you start digging the stuff. Now this part is the part that takes forever. <laughs> I think it's, I, I want to say it's 14 seconds or 13 seconds before it breaks. And then be careful because obviously if you have a diamond pickaxe, you could easily dig the stone below and then you'd have to fix your, your generator and it takes a little longer. So make sure you're keeping an eye. Uh, sometimes what I would do is, on Xbox at least, is actually count out every second. But right now because I'm doing a let's play, I'm not going to do that because I don't want to bore you guys with bore you guys with counting. I'd rather talk about it. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and place my redstone dust, fill in my obsidian, and then place the lava on top. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to start mining this stuff. And what I'm going for is enough for an enchantment table, which I believe is three obsidian for an enchantment table. So we've already achieved that. Next, what I need to do is achieve enough for a nether portal, which I haven't really played with nether portals on PC uh, since all the updates and everything, since I think I played on 1.2, something like that. Uh, and I played on Xbox ever since. So I'm, I'm really new to some of the mechanics of that have changed, like the obsidian portal for instance, I've heard it can be any size. Now I don't know if that means that I can build an obsidian portal that is one by two, but I'm going to try it. And if I can, then we won't need that much redstone dust at all. However, I'm going to get enough redstone dust for uh, the, the standard size uh, two by three opening for an obsidian portal. So what you would need is the two, three, so that's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus the three for the new Encha uh, enchantment table. So I need 13 total obsidian. So I'm going to go ahead and continue breaking this stuff. Uh. <coughs> and if you haven't seen, my uh, Let's Build series is actually coming along quite nicely. We just started work on the ballroom. Um, I, the next episode will be uh, all about the ballroom floor. I'm almost done with the ballroom floor and it's, the design's actually looking pretty decent. Um, very fancy. And the size of it allows for some interesting detail, but I'm actually uh, probably going to start the next episode of the Let's Build will be all about the pillars, and I'm using quartz pillars, and I'm doing a lot of quartz flooring. Definitely liking the quartz block. I wish we had quartz on Xbox. I'm guessing that next update will bring that. If it's not a bug fix update, that is. Which, honestly, they haven't released a bug fix update in a little while, so it could be that. Who knows? I know there's a lot of bugs with redstone chunk errors on Xbox, and that's one of the things that is probably the worst right now on Xbox as far as bugs go. 
or at least the one that I constantly notice because it is continually driving me crazy. Oh, why did it stop? That was weird. Should not have stopped. Laggy computer. Okay, I think it might be losing control or signal from my mouse. I'm using a wireless mouse. Oh, the joys. Alright, there we go. I'm curious as to how many obsidian blocks I have now. I don't know if I have enough. I might need three more. There we go. I've got twelve. I need one more. Okay. Well, I'll build three more just so I can have a couple extra to put in the chest. Okay, so let me go ahead and place the lava. There we go. And then break the obsidian blocks. Alright, so as you can tell, all you need is one water bucket, one lava bucket, uh, a block to use as the frame for the obsidian generator, which honestly I like to change eventually to obsidian just so you don't accidentally break the frame because you're looking away or something while you're mining it, and redstone. And pretty much you need as much redstone dust as you want obsidian blocks. Alright, there we go. And I'm going to go ahead and lay some redstone so I'm ready for the next one. And let's head out. Alright. So. You know what I just thought about? I don't think I'm on the right difficulty. Nope. Okay, there we go. Now I'm back on hard. So let's go ahead and face the hordes. Actually, no. I'm, I'm going to be putting some stuff away and then making an uh, enchantment table. But I may end up fighting something in the process. I don't, haven't decided where I'm putting my enchantment room yet. Oh, yes. So uh, since the last episode, I did a couple things. Uh, first off, the most exciting thing, at least, is that I... Well, you can't really see it from here. If you look up there, I have some cows and some sheep and a pin up there. Um, that's the most exciting thing I did. Uh, the second most exciting thing is I continued all the storage. I filled out all the storage, and I added all the item frames. Well, not all the item frames, but s several. And I, I only need a few more. I need five more. I've, I've added five, so I'm halfway at least. But that requires more breeding of the cows, and it's taking some time. So as soon as I can, I'll have these completely labeled and ready to go. All right, so let's go ahead and put everything away. I would like to place the lava bucket with the bucket, empty bucket right there. Obsidian, I put in the valuables chest. Usually up here by the emeralds and stuff. Actually, on Xbox, that's exactly where I put it, but... I think I'll just put it. Yeah, I think I'll just put it right there for now. All right. So, <coughs> oh, I do have some redstone dust. I need to put in there. <coughs> All right. So, what I need to build an enchantment table, I believe, is one diamond three obsidian and two books. Now, the books are going to be the pain in the ass part. Um, so I, what I may do right off, actually, instead of doing the enchantment table, is going to be just do the... I need a lighter, too. Is just do the uh, uh, portal, and I'll save the enchantment table for when I have a stockpile of leather. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and build a portal. Um, I'll probably build a portal in the mine, actually. Down by the obsidian generator. I just realized I don't have a sword on me. Uh-oh. Got an axe. Alright, so I'll put the portal... Actually, let's try to put it right there. Yeah. 
it's an attempt worth worth okay sorry the recording time spanned out I'm looking at the end of the video here actually so what I'm going to do is go ahead and fill in just enough for this small 1 by 2 portal and see if it works um, if it does that'd be awesome no it doesn't okay well I thought that it could be any size, but I guess not. So I'll be sitting here digging this stuff away for a little bit, fixing my portal. Um, at least I know the 2x3 will work, so I'll just build that. And I've got enough obsidian for that, so it's just a matter of breaking these last two blocks here. And getting that taken care of. Probably won't push this video much past another minute just enough to poke my head into the nether and see what I've got to deal with in the nether. Alright, so there we go. Now time to break all these blocks. And replace them with obsidian. Alright, now let's go ahead and start it on fire. There it goes. See what we got. Hopefully I don't... Well, I, I've got stuff back at the base, so worst case scenario I can build most of my stuff again, but hopefully I don't fall into lava or something. That would be terrible. Ooh, it's taking forever to build the terrain. Well, at least you know that it's it's the first time in the nether, because it's downloading the terrain, so... Oh, there you go. Back to game. Alright, so we are in a cave, it looks like. Got some lava by us. Oof, super laggy. Alright, let's go ahead and exit. Well, <coughs> no fortress immediately visible, but that'll probably be the end of this episode, guys. Um, I'll probably be working on getting as much leather between now and the next episode as I can um, so that I can continue with the enchantment table as well as the bookshelves so that I can start getting some enchanted items. But for now, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Please like, share, and subscribe.